It's amazing that the technology's progressed to the point where you can have structured light scanners, things that, and you're talking resolution, like at best, most of these sensors are like 0.02 of a millimeter, which is about a little under a thousandth of an inch. This is like pre-dawn into the Serapium, which I just thought was damn cool. We're hanging out out the front in the darkness, getting into the Serapium super early in the morning. Here we had was like, it had 128 gig of RAM. It had like the latest NVIDIA mobile um, graphics card in it, the GPU. So this is really interesting because this is one of the Granite Stellas. This is yeah, the, the only one left. False door. It's the only false door that's left in the Serapium and this place had them all over the place. You think these are no, original? I, I think they're original. Yes, because, and I'll tell you why, because false door shape goes back to the very earliest of times. Yeah. These are big slabs of granite. Yeah, I'd, le I'd leave some pictures of it inside the blown up box. See that? So yeah. I call this the Dunn box. This is the, 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 the box Dunn that Chris box. Dunn, one of the boxes yes. that Chris Dunn measured, and it's the only one that the lid was never moved, moved off of it, technically. Right. I mean, it was there was a hole blown in the side of it. People don't understand generally how museum or the antiquities market work when you talk about provenance of these. They often don't have that sort of, well, we know exactly when and where this was dug up out of the sand. And the more provenance on the antiquities market, the more expensive it can be. And then you get to a point where, okay, it's, if there's a lot of provenance, then Egypt can determine, is this you know, legitimately something that was given part of the diplomatic process or whatever, or it was taken illegally, and then they might ask for it back, which is what they're trying to do for like half the stuff in the British Museum. It's a challenge. And the other thing to me that there's a couple other things that don't make sense. It's like, even with the vases that have been studied that have provenance going back to the 1960s, and 1980s, it just doesn't make sense that they were ever made as these highly precise designed fakes in that time period.